My name is Pamela Jackson. I am the P of the AMP production. AMP consists of Andrew, Maggie, and Pamela. I have talents in nursing, research, and gerontology. I wanted to take um, my health background and infuse it with art. I was placed in the group with Andrew and Maggie because we were so different. I love um, Maggie's free spirit style, Andrew's little analytical. Base. I had a special interest in digital storytelling. I probably got on Maggie's and Andrew's nerve because I was the person who would read everything and say, we're supposed to follow this guideline. But then we had like a freestyle. So we visited a couple of so sites, uh, the Learning Tree Intergenerational Center. And then I had an opportunity to hear uh, Maggie when she did the Pachacata. <laughs> Uh, we chose the Learning Tree Intergenerational Center, so I was able to make contacts with the directors and how art can really empower and transform people. I know we had some challenging groups. I remember the one process where we had, I was a circle, kind of like that. I, mean, my, I said my group was going to win, and we did. So, <laughs> not that I was being selfish, but it didn't, to me, wasn't a big focus what everyone else got out of it. It's more so what Pamela was learning from it. And uh, Maggie mentioned something about a performance, and then we said yay, and then we just said, as long as it has an intergenerational flair, I just went with it from there. The visitation that we had at the Learning Tree showed me that, one, it can be done, two, where are you going to get your money? Andrew Ramis, part of the CAT AMP project. I've been collaborating with Maggie and Pamela on our Powers of Ten project, bringing ten younger people and ten older people together to exchange their own life stories um, and then to share them publicly. Doing a performance is something that I'm generally uncomfortable with doing. I'm more comfortable being behind a camera. The project would be an empowering one for the individuals participating in it, as well as opening them up to understanding perhaps a little bit more the life experiences of someone from a different generation, not just some kind of a mythical source of funny stories, but real challenges and heartbreak and happiness. Uh, you said you came up with the AMP logo. Now, I think that when we came up with the team's name, yes. I was suggested let's use our initials, and that's how we did that, right? Correct. Andrew's for architect, M was for uh, metaphysical, mystical Maggie, and then I said peace, thought about, I thought about paradigms. So. I selected some text and I put an image with it and put it together with our names. Yeah. The graphic part yeah. of it. Well, I think without your prompting, we wouldn't have accomplished what we did. I hope that you'll put some of this interesting dialogue in the video. Of course. Those three-hour conversations and sort of the, in, the in, not the endurance that they require, sort of that suspension of knowing exactly what we were about. I can be a little impatient. At the same time that I'm intuitive, I can be a little bit impatient and I can want to know exactly what's happening and sort of there's a gracefulness that I hope I have taken some lessons from about the way that Pamela and Andy live their lives. I know like... I totally failed to be able to get in touch with St. Agatha's, but just to have called them and to just contact a community and see if they want to make something, like, yeah, you just call people and you see if they want to make art with you. Like, that can seem really natural, but no, that's yeah. something that feels revolutionary to me. That's one thing that I learned from Pamela. <laughs> to get money, you have to put stuff on paper. Because, <laughs> I mean, Sloop is like the anti-grant grant. You know, let's fund each other. 
Powers of Ten is also interested in, and like mm -hmm. what are those stories that might not get told if we don't find them? I think we're looking for those stories that might not make it out of someone's mouth. I've learned a lot about democracy. <laughs> <laughs> running sleuth. There's a way in which democracy is a popularity contest, you know, which is weird. So, I mean, you can win your sloop grant by inviting all your friends. <laughs> but... Well, isn't that how we won when we built that little tower? Yes. That we just had as many team members as possible, and then we dominated and said we had the best hey. tower. I know that that's a little bit naive, but I think naivety is important. There's something kind of naive about all three of us. We're kind of naive people. I'm serious. Like, I think that's a lot of where the kinship that I feel with both of you comes from. I'm glad we just kind of kept arresting our own development in a way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I